Hello and welcome to The Founder. I'm your host, Tashi Sejal. Today I have with me Anjali Flema Caldera from the agency. How are you feeling today? Excellent. Thank awesome. you for having me. Thank you for coming. And uh, tell me about how it all began, the agency. How it all began? <laughs> yeah. Geez, so we're almost in our fifth year. Yeah. So 2020 will be our fifth year, so we're very excited. Um, it actually began not even that I was inspired by something. It actually was a process of based on my experiences. Okay. When I moved back from college um, after a grueling law degree, um, I knew that I didn't want to do law, mm -hmm. and I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do. Okay. So I tried a lot of different things, and as I was doing that, I also learned a lot. And what I realized was I learned how to identify what was missing in different markets. Right, right. And after lots of trial and error, um, I realized a big component that we need to focus on is human resources. Okay. And talent management, mm -hmm. which is does the book. Yes, the agency. I, the agency. So, you know, coming to the name, we're taking it all the way back. How did the agency come about? Okay, so, I mean, to be honest, yeah. it's because of the simplicity. Mm -hmm. It's also a little bit of a cheat code because if you go and you type the agency, right. um, Sri Lanka, okay. that is basically our name, the oh, agency Sri Lanka. Yay. So, whether whatever you're looking for, I mean, sometimes we get calls all the time asking if we're a travel agency. Right. But the thing is, it comes tops, like pops right to the top, and it's great for social media, yeah. it's great for Google. So I wanted to keep it as simple as possible so everyone remembers it. Okay, so for people asking what the agency is, how would you answer that? Uh, we are a talent management firm. Our focus is on up and coming talent. Right. Uh, obviously, our the love is for Sri Lankan talent right. to and put them on a global platform. Okay. Um, and that's why our hash like our little hashtag as well as our tagline is they focus on the next gen. Right. Right. Yeah. So that's why if you look in our logo, there is the G N is in red. The next. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that's really smart. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. What's a marketing strategy that you rely on to this very day? Okay. So our number one product is obviously people. Mm -hmm. So what we try to do constantly from a marketing point of view is to make it relatable and accessible for all. Okay. So um, like when people think about fashion, they think about glamour. They think, and a lot of people are nervous to look at it or approach it and say, oh, that could be me. Yeah. So what we've started doing recently is we've uh, launched uh, the agency Sri Lanka Workshop program, right. okay. which doesn't, it's open to everybody. Okay. Anyone that's interested in the modeling um, industry or actually just the skill sets that um, are entailed within it. Okay. For example, we do a lot of things on like confidence building, right. public speaking, mm -hmm. how to dress, what to say, how to wear, like to make a good conversation on like, like interviews, things like that. Right. So I think what we're doing is breaking down a lot of the barriers and like things that people feel kind of uncomfortable with okay. when they think of like a model agency or the fashion industry. Right, right. So what would you say is a challenge that you face? Um, the biggest challenge that we face actually to do with market mindset. Um, when we started, there were no talent management firms. There were no proper like model agency firms that were like integrated. Right. Um, and when we we spent a lot of time trying to tell people why our, what our purpose was and why it's necessary for people to have agents. Right. And like even within the industry itself, we're constantly telling people like um, go through an agency because it make your life easier. Easier on the yeah. client side as well as on the talent side. So that was one of our biggest things. Okay, well you've come a long way and uh, who is your number one support system? Oh my gosh, um, number one is uh, friends and family. Um, but I have to say I have the most amazing team. Okay. A team that has kind of been like evolving through the years. Mm -hmm. um, it is, it's, it, this is not a me project, this right. is an us project. Right. Um, and I am only as strong, and our company is only as strong as all the pieces put together. Right. So uh, you know, you talk about your team. What do you remember? What your uh, initial team was like? Of course. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, very teeny, teeny, tiny. Oh. Um, in a very small shoebox. Okay. But I mean, that's 
how, how startups starts. begin, right? Exactly. Yeah. Um, so I mean, I think it's and even now, like I don't have a massive team. Right. Um, I am. I'm more like I like smaller teams. Right. Because everyone kind of gets to know everything about the company, mm -hmm. and there's not just like the accounts person saying, "Yeah, no, I can't go and meet right, a client." Right. You need everyone on the same page. It has to be versatile, yeah. which yeah. is what I like. Awesome. And uh, do you remember what your first workspace was like? Oh my gosh, <laughs> yes. So like I said, like a shoebox. A shoebox, right. It was tiny. I mean, and we shared a space with another company. There was like 10 or 15 of us during events, okay. seasons, like we're literally on top of each other. But it was fantastic. I mean, those are the kind of experiences and like being close up and personal with everyone's faces that actually um, teach you what it's all about. Right, right. And uh, Anjali, have you ever had a, you know, a moment in, in your career where you have had to make the hardest decision? The hardest. Yeah. yeah. What, I mean, what would of that course, decision actually, be? Actually, um, the hardest decision I, that I've had to make was to actually come forward and say that I'm going to be the face of this company. Right. That is not something that I would naturally want to be. I'm, I'm the queen of behind the scenes. Okay. Um, like being in the spotlight, talk, like consistently, like having being accountable to talk, that, I, I mean, I'm very, I love people, I'm right. personable, but when it comes to like actually properly, formally doing it, it it's, <laughs> I'm petrified. You're petrified. Person. Okay, I get it, I yeah. get it. I mean, everybody has their little thing, but uh, at the same time, you know, the agency, is it everything you've ever hoped for coming into the fifth year? Um, and more. And more. And it's going to keep on changing, evolving, growing. I'm so excited. Um, we actually, um, halfway through, we started, um, we have like a social media division, we have an events division, all within obviously fashion lifestyle. Okay. Um, and actually, our events division got so big, we've now broke off and made a whole separate company called right. The Platform Sri Lanka. Yeah. Um, and we're just taking our first few projects on in okay. December. Okay. Um, we are super excited. And it also it's going to help us streamline so that now it can break it into two. Okay. And not everyone is jumping here, then everywhere. Right. So tell me a little bit about your newest product projects. Okay. Um, for the agency or the platform? Okay. So let's start with the agency. Okay. Cool. Um, so one of our, one of my like, personal little babies is that I've been working on our new website for okay. the past year. Um, it's very very exciting it's very dynamic and we're actually launching it next week oh wow so okay. it's been a huge labor of love and time and effort of course but we are very very excited for the reveal oh wow um, and like I said we a few months ago we started the workshop project right um, which we did three sessions already and we've seen great traction in the market so next year we're going to again expand that okay. and build on it and then hopefully have it on a per month basis well I hope you well, I wish all the very best of luck for you on that. You. It sounds an exciting project. Yeah. And speaking of exciting, I mean, you are pretty much working with people and you get to meet new people and, you know, see new ta talent as well coming in. So, Anjali, uh, tell me what's the craziest thing that you've, uh, you know, seen at office? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure that is a work-related question, but um, there has been some crazy things in my office, like, <laughs> for example, opening a wine bottle with a stiletto. Right. But that's a separate story, <laughs> a separate, like, uh, category. <laughs> However, um, the craziest thing that I've seen is actually to do with my team and the people that I've worked with through the years in forming this company. Um, I've had some amazing people, and I still do, and it's like, for example, someone starts as an intern okay. and then ends up like running the whole talent management decision. Okay. Sorry, a division. Um, and I find that especially since, I mean, they're all super young. Right. Like, I can't even imagine me when I was 23 doing that. Really? Oh my yeah, gosh, that's so. amazing. So you pretty much give everyone an opportunity as well at the same time. Yeah, and because it's like a two-way street. Um, by doing that, I get an opportunity too. Right. I right. get an opportunity to evolve, I get an opportunity to grow and to learn. Yeah, it's all about yeah. learning, I can tell from the everything that you've told me. And uh, also, I want to ask, you know, if you remember, the initial stages of your startup, mm -hmm. was financing, financing rather difficult or were banks any, any helpful to get you started up? I mean, like, Truth be told, I am so blessed and so thankful. My uh, father it supported me 100%. This would not have been possible without him. Um, he's my number one believer. 
thank God. Yes. Um, and I mean, from from banks, banks have been great as well. I mean, they're open to new ideas, which is in this climate really necessary. Okay. Um, and um, and as we grow, I'm sure that we'll have to open a lot more doors financially. Right. Right. Uh, this question is actually from our venue sponsor, the Colombo Cooperative, providing modern workspaces and uh, creative spaces for all companies of all sizes. Uh, they would like to know what your number one value in business and in life is. Without a doubt, integrity. Integrity, okay. I mean, everything that I personally feel, everything that you do, you have to believe in it. And you also have to actually believe that the end product is basically something that you were personally proud of. Right, right. And you're your own boss and you've come a long way in terms of success. What would you say is your definition of success? My definition of success um, would be when I go home after doing said project or launching, I don't know, like something new, I have to go home and really, really sit down and say, wow, well done. I am happy with this. This is amazing. Like I think it's a very personal thing. Right. It's the takeaway. Mm -hmm. It's not how it's not how much money we raise. It's not how many people like we reached on Instagram. It's I think what is important is the message that's sent out. Right. And what gets you up in the morning? <laughs> Besides the gym, <laughs> um, it, to be honest, it's my team. It's your team. Yeah, my God. I mean, like. We don't really have out like a nine to five. We're not a nine to five. Mm -hmm. We're usually like a ten to whatever. Mm -hmm. um, our office has become kind of like it's really like a home. It's like it a actually home. is a renovated yeah. house, but <laughs> yeah, I mean the only thing we actually don't do there is have I mean have a night sleep. Night there sleep, are naps right? In between, naps in between. Yeah. <laughs> I think those are like acceptable. Yeah. yeah. Uh, another thing that uh, you know came to my mind is you know. Everyone's just trying to start up their new thing and uh, they want to be their own boss just like you. Uh, what kind of advice would you give them to, you know, go on with their career and their thought process and creating their own, uh, you know, business? Don't let anyone ever tell you you can't do it. Right. I mean, that it, for me, that was the number one thing. Like, especially doing something that hadn't been done here prior. Um, we're getting a lot of flack because everyone just thought it was like, oh, this is so like plastic and cosmetic. And, right. Well, I mean, because we started as a model agency before right. we became a talent management firm. Um, and it was just like, oh, like it's so fluffed and things like that. I was like, you guys have no idea how much work is involved in doing this and actually being a model. Mm. Um, and you have yeah. to be so tough. You have to be confident. You, I mean, you have there are days where you or can't get out of bed because of you got rejected one last night oh. or whatever. But like from what I'm seeing, I know especially young people that I'm around with every day, they just amaze me. Like so, I think don't when I there have been days I'm not gonna lie when I came home it's like oh my god am I doing is this right like is right. this gonna work and it's just like if I don't believe it's gonna work then who why will? like who exactly. will right yeah. so I think that's the number one thing yeah. don't let fear stop you. Right, and the doubt. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Actually, is there a company or a brand that you would like to take over? Actually, I wouldn't like to take in over any other <laughs> company or brand. Um, I am so excited ab about the joy of developing your own brand. Right. And having the flexibility um, of shaping it how you want. Like, the thing is, of course, like you bring, if you take over someone else's brand, you bring new things in, you evolve it, of course, but there's always like a framework and a blueprint in place. The joy that I get is putting that blueprint in place. Okay. So, yeah, that's my answer on that one. So who would you look up to as, uh, as an inspir inspiration? Um, professionally? Yes. Um, to be honest, there is a, there is a, there's a mix of people for different reasons um, like for example like it's very cliche everyone will say if you're talking about business and startups it's always going to be Steve Jobs right I I get that the reason I'm more interested actually in what he did on an image perspective because obviously that's my business it's all about right. your image um, he basically want he made a brand which basically everybody wanted because of the way it looked like. Right. He turned the basic idea of a laptop or a computer on its head and said, you know what, it needs to look kind of nice. Yeah. Um, which essentially is why 
if you feel the need when you get a new like iPhone, you need the next up con consistently. Right. You're ready, even if it's coming like a year, you need the next one. Yeah. Not because the phone doesn't work. That's true. It's because you want to keep up with the image. Yeah. Um, I think that's fascinating. And for our industry, I think it's really, really inspiring. Um, then from from another side of things, like I am, I my experience a lot of it's in events. Right. Um, I would. Um, I also look up to Anna Winter a lot. Okay. Not, I mean, of course, because she's like fashion guru or whatever. But it's also because what she did with the Met Gala as an event. Okay. Like doing something that on the scale is insane, and um, basically the way she's actually um, broken it down and organized that event, it's like next level. Yeah. Yeah. So, I totally get it. Yeah. Like the Met Gala. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> it's That's exciting. Yeah, it's not an easy thing to set up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, anything, uh, okay, so if it wasn't for the agency, what would you have been doing today? Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> as in, in general, probably getting at least eight hours of sleep. Right. Um, <laughs> but no, I think um, I, I'm, I would obviously be doing the rat race that everybody else does um, uh, behind like the nine to five door. Um, and a corporate structure, which also, which also is really important. Um, it is the it's the foundation for everything. Um, but I think I would be um, I would be actually traveling a lot more. Right. Yeah. Right. And getting exper more experience across the board okay. to bring back home. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Uh, what's something that you're hoping for for the agency, maybe in the next five years? Um, it's a global game. Okay. Uh, my goal, uh, which has always been my goal, is to highlight our local talent internationally. Is to meet as many people as I can from an agency perspective worldwide and start the exchange of talent. Right. Bringing people here, sending people out, um, giving enough resources to be able to compete in a global arena. Well, I hope that goal is not too far behind and I wish you all the very best of luck for thank everything. Thank you so much. <laughs> so thank you so much for talking to us today. And uh, My pleasure. Yeah, and with that being said, it is uh, time for me to go and also uh, you can catch me next time on The Founder. It's me, Tasha Sejal, so see you next time.